Assalamu alaikum friends of faith, praise be to Allah, blessings and greetings to our Prophet Muhammad, his family and friends. Once upon a time, someone asked Rosalullo, Oh Rosalullo, what is the best job you think? Rosalullo replied, The work done with his own hands and the transcation of buying and selling is mabrur. Hadith Ahmad and Bazaar In the hadith mentioned that, trading is the work suggested by Rosalillo. Buying and selling is a transaction process between two or more parties who need each other, be it money, goods, or services. Mabur means halal, blessing, good, clean, holy, free from sin. However, a person who desires blessings in trading should ponder the following hadith. Sellers and buyers each have voting rights as long as the two have not separated. If both act honestly and frankly, then both will gain blessings in the transaction. But if they both lie and cover each other up, the blessings of their transactions will be lost. Hadith Bukhari 2079 and Muslim 1532 The purpose of the hadith is, each of the two must explain any information needed by other parties such as, defects or other deficiencies in the goods and prices. And be honest in conveying prices and things related to reciprocal transactions between sellers and buyers. Concretely that we can follow and practice for buying and selling halal, and this blessing, is a trade that is done honestly. When we do business, then we must be open or honest about what we sell. Transparent or open attitude is one of the ways the seller, so that the buyer knows the shortcomings and advantages of the purchased goods, so that there is no sense of being deceived or regret buying the goods sold. Islam strongly prohibits the sale and purchase of this kind of thing, because it can harm one of the parties involved in the trade, namely the buyer. In the hadith above explained that, God will give blessings if the trade is honest, and God will remove his blessings if the trade there is cheating. Rosalullo Shalalohu Alehi Wasallam said, Honest traders who can be trusted with the prophets and the righteous and the martyrs. Hadith Termidi. This hadith explains that, when we do a trade should be honest, or should not cheat so as not to harm others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O you who have believed, be the people of the righteous, for God is a witness to justice. And do not hate any people who encourage you to be unjust. God knows what you do. Q.S. Almighty verse 8 As servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are encouraged to always maintain the practice of shola, and always be kind in everyday life. Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. And that's the reason why we have to be honest in trading. Hopefully can increase our gaira in living this life, and prepare for a real life later. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.